Japan secured approval from the United Nations nuclear watchdog yesterday for its plan to release treated radioactive water from the tsunami wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant into the ocean, despite fierce resistance from Beijing and some local residents. Despite facing strong opposition, the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, conducted a two-year review and declared that Japan's plans adhere to global safety standards and would have a minimal radiological impact on people and the environment. During a meeting with Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, IAEA Chief Rafael Grossi described the occasion as a significant moment and handed over a comprehensive report in a thick blue folder. Grossi later addressed journalists at the Japan National Press Club, where he encountered a small group of protesters. He assured them that he would address any remaining concerns by deploying IAEA staff to monitor the water release at the Fukushima plant. Grossi emphasized that this was an unprecedented situation, acknowledging Japan's ultimate authority over the release, which is expected to take place over a period of 30 to 40 years. The Japanese government maintains that the water release process is safe since the water, equivalent to the volume of 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools, has been treated. This water was used to cool the damaged fuel rods at the Fukushima plant following the earthquake and subsequent tsunami. While an official date for the water release has not been specified, it is pending approval from the National Nuclear Regulatory Body, Tokyo Electric Power TEPCO. The final decision from TEPCO, which was expected to be announced this week, will determine the official commencement of the plan unveiled in 2021. Japanese fishing unions have long opposed the water release, expressing concerns that it could undo their efforts to restore the reputation of Japanese food products following the 2011 disaster. A petition from the region surrounding the plant has garnered over 250,000 signatures since the proposal was initially presented. Several neighboring countries have also voiced their objections, citing potential threats to marine ecosystems and public health. Among these, Beijing has emerged as the most vocal critic. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida affirmed that Japan would continue to provide sincere explanations to both its citizens and the international community, relying on scientific evidence and maintaining a high level of transparency. However, China, through its embassy in Japan, dismissed the IAEA report as insufficient justification for the water release and demanded its suspension. According to Japan, the treated water has undergone filtration to eliminate most radioactive elements, except for tritium, a hydrogen isotope that is difficult to separate from water. The treated water will be diluted to levels well below internationally approved tritium limits before being released into the Pacific Ocean. In a presentation given to foreign journalists in China, Japanese officials stated that the tritium levels in the treated water were lower than those found in wastewater routinely discharged by nuclear plants worldwide, including in China. Japanese officials claimed to have repeatedly attempted to clarify Tokyo's position to Beijing, but their efforts were disregarded. China recently criticized Japan's comparison between tritium levels in treated water and wastewater, deeming it a source of confusion and misinformation. The Chinese Foreign Ministry issued a statement expressing regret over the IAEA's prompt release of its report and warned that if Japan persisted in its course of action, it would bear the consequences. Mr. Grossi is scheduled to visit the Fukushima plant on Wednesday. Following his trip to Japan, he plans to travel to South Korea to address concerns regarding the water release. Media reports suggest that he will also visit New Zealand and the Cook Islands in an attempt to alleviate anxieties surrounding the plan.